Week 28, day three, we're going to develop the quality of being positively motivated. Now, I got to tell you, uh, the longer I coached, and I coached over 40 years, I started hearing this, coach, it's not fun anymore. You know, in junior high, it was a lot of fun. It's not fun anymore. Or I would have players play for me in high school, then they'd go to college and they'd come back and say, I decided not to play anymore. It would, college wasn't any fun. All right, when I coached in college, I'd have players come in and say, well, it's not as much fun as it was in high school. This is a story about that. It says, the man and his teenage son took a trip and decided to snow ski. We don't need lessons, bragged the son. Let's just go. The young man picked up the skills quickly and easily. Within the hours, the son was skiing. Not so for the father. At the end of the day, the dad was exhausted, bruised, and defeated. Had he not been with his son and not willing to be a bad example, he would have quit. Father and son began the second day. The son was skiing. The dad was falling. Finally, on the third day, the dad finally got it. He got up and stayed on his skis. No greater feeling in the world. Now, the problem with so many people is they quit before they ever get up. To have fun, to be happy, enjoy means working at a skill until you get up. For some people, it takes longer than others to get up. Everyone can do it. It's just a matter of time and determination. If you want something to be fun, sometimes you got to work at it. Those guys that got to high school football and they come in and they say, Coach, it's not as much fun as it was in junior high. Well, no, in junior high, it was a lot more fun because it wasn't nearly as difficult. When my son went to the Naval Academy uh, prep school, he called me and he said, Dad, I understand your skiing story now. I said, really? And he said, yeah. In high school, he was an all-state tight end, and he was really a good high school football player and a good college football player. But he didn't have to fight against a bunch of people in practice every day. He was the best on our football team. So every day was pretty easy for him, as he said. And when he got to the Naval Academy, there weren't any easy people there. Everybody was just as good or better than he was. So every practice was more difficult than the day before. Every day was tough. You didn't get to take three plays off or a playoff. Every play had to be difficult. And he said he understood (laughs) what it meant. You see, sometimes you got to work really hard to get up. And it may be in math. We're not just talking about football or or athletics. You may have a really hard time in math understanding algebra or geometry or, God forbid, trigonometry. Those things may not come easy. And you have two choices. You can quit, but if you just keep going, you're finally going to get up and you're going to realize that math can be fun. English can be fun. History is fun. School is fun. But you see, the minute you give up and you quit and you never get up, you never know what it's like. There's nothing greater than the feeling like this dad's talking about here. Can you imagine going out there for two days, running into trees, falling in the snow, freezing, being defeated, And then the third day, when you really don't want to go, but you don't want to be a quitter in front of your son, you don't want to quit in front of your mom and dad, or you don't want to quit in front of a teacher, and you just keep on keeping on, 
and you finally get up. Won't that be exhilarating? See, that's what these qualities do for you. When you're motivated and you say, you know what, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get this math. It may take me a little longer than it does Billy. And I may have to work at it a little bit longer. And I'm not having much fun right now. But I'm going to make it fun. Well, to make it fun, you got to be good at something. And to be good at something, if you want to be an elite, it takes 10,000 hours of practice. 10,000 hours. I told every team I ever coached as a head coach, I always heard this, people would come in and say, this is your team, this is y'all's team. And I always thought to myself, how stupid do you think these guys are? And when I played, I had coaches that would come in and say, this is your team. This is y'all's team. It's not my team. It's y'all's team. And I'd say, I'd like to start calling plays then. If this is my team, I want to call the plays because I don't think you're doing a very good job. I want to make the starting lineup because I don't think you're, you know. What do you think a coach would say if I did that? <laughs> this ain't your team. This is my team. If we don't win or we're not successful, I'm going to get fired, not you. I am responsible for this football team. This is your time. That's what this is. This is your T-I-M-E, your time. And my responsibility is to make this the best time of your life. And in order for that to happen, in order for this to be the best time of your life, three things have to happen. You got to play. If all you ever do is sit on the bench, you can't look back and say that was the greatest time of my life. Number two, we got to win. Because if we don't win, you can't look back and say, oh, that was the greatest time of my life. And number three, and most important, we got to help you become a better person. We got to help you be a better husband, better father, better employee, a better person. Then you look back and you say, that was the best time of my life. It really made a difference in my life that I played football. You got up. <laughs> and if you get up, but you got to spend the time and the effort and the work and the sweat and the tears to get up because you got to get good. We got to win. And you have to develop these qualities to be a better person. Make it a great day.